Spring Watch presenter Chris Packham, 61, fears for his and his family's security following claims made in articles published in Country Squire magazine, the High Court has heard. On the second day of the trial held in London's High Court today, the TV presenter said he had become a victim of a campaign of violent relentless intimidation. The BBC star and activist is suing three men for libel over nine articles which included claims he manipulated his followers into donating to a charity to rescue tigers while knowing the animals were well looked after. Editor of the online site Country Squire magazine Dominic Whiteman is defending the libel claim alongside writer Nigel Bean and a third man, Paul Reed. Whiteman and Bean's lawyers are arguing that articles in the claim could be defended as true, while Reed is claiming he was not responsible for their publication as he was merely a proofreader. Meanwhile, Packham is accused of dishonestly raising money for the charity at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic despite knowing it was due to receive a £500,000 insurance payout, which he has strongly denied. The High Court heard today how Packham now fears for his safety following what his barrister Jonathan Price described as the enormous amount of puerile, offensive and damaging material that had been published about the presenter. I do go to walk my dogs in the woods and wonder, is today the day that a psychopath fueled by all this hate turns up and kills me? He told the court. I genuinely no longer expect to live a long life free from violence and intimidation. Don't miss. Jeremy Clarkson sparks concern as Richard Hammond takes tumble. News Harry will be forced to bow to Camilla at King Charles' coronation, latest Pride and Prejudice star, 28, dies after being hit by drunk driver, breaking, because it may only take the one wrong person to read Country Squire magazine for things to go horribly wrong. Chris also told the court today how he does not expect to live a long life free from violence and intimidation because his deeply held views have attracted criticism from people who shoot and fox hunt. Speaking about some of the threats he receives, the environmentalist claimed random dead animals and human feces are regularly posted to me. I have become accustomed to the plethora of dead animals people leave at my home. He added. Packham's lawyer also previously stated that offensive material written about the TV star had also extended to letters between the defendants and their lawyers, where he had been described as a bully and accused of the commission of rape and other sexual offenses. Packham also said the men had repeatedly picked on and mocked my Asperger's syndrome and compared him to Jimmy Seville. The presenter called these allegations totally unconscionable, adding, they are ridiculous, utterly unfounded, and plainly designed to be as upsetting, threatening and reputationally damaging as possible. The trial under Mr. Justice Siney is due to conclude on May 12, with a verdict expected at a later date.